we're listening to tornadoes to try to increase uh, warning times and save lives. We have measured a tornado, a small tornado that emitted sounds between like a tone at 5 to 10 hertz. We assume that it's producing the sound because the pressure in the middle of the tornado drops and then you get these fluctuations from the, the variation in terrain that makes it oscillate. And based on dimensional reasoning, you would say that then you would expect both the frequency to correlate with the size of the tornado and the amplitude to correlate with how low the pressure is dropping in the core of that tornado. So since we can measure this from up to 300 miles away, we have the possibility of, from far distances, estimating both size and strength of the tornado. So for each, each location, you're going to want at least three microphones so you can get a bearing angle of where the sound's coming from. And then what makes it the, tough to get infrasonic measurements is wind noise will contaminate your, your measurement. So what's kind of unusual is we have our microphone out in, say, a grassy area, a dome over it, and then we have a bunch of garden hoses coming out of it. And we spread out these soaker hoses, so they're porous walls, and we, we spread them out in, like, say, an X pattern. You do that to do spatial averaging so that wind noise that's going over the different components will cancel out because they're incoherent, while a large pressure wave from a geophysical source will be coherent over it. And you have three of them. You do the correlation between them to get where the signal's coming from.